Okay, so the Godzilla Minus One Trailer 2 just came out. Uh, so it is a good time to be a Godzilla fan. We are eating good because not only are we going to react to this trailer, but I also am going to put a re trailer reaction to a dream come true. Yes, for me. For me and Joe. <laughs> from when we played the Godzilla's Approaching the Generator <laughs> game, uh, a battle that we thought would never happen is apparently happening on the Godzilla Mega Fan channel, the Godzilla channel on YouTube. Sam Orange, if you are lying, I will make sure you are banned forever. What do you say? Says Jet Jaguar trailer time just dropped <laughs> today. What a Jet Jaguar! I'm gonna look for what I, Jet Jaguar trailer just dropped. Okay, Enzyme, tell it. He's not gonna ban you. I'll unban you forever. What are you talking about? Uh, is it? Um, I don't know what you mean. Okay, let's see where the where Godzilla vs. Jet Jaguar it. trailer official. You're joking. They said it couldn't be done, but he was. There he it's is. our dream. <laughs> our dream has come true. What? I've been this saying it. This is so random. I've been saying That's it. That's so fucking random. That doesn't make any goddamn <laughs> sense. Yes, it does. We were saying it as an internal joke from uh, Jet Jaguar and the, the Godzilla game. This is a real thing, or is this just a fan film from somebody? That's a damn good fan film, though. A damn good 30-second fan film. Yeah, and it's the old-school one that I want. I always want. I can't read Japanese. Is that 3.11 or 11.3? Yes. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> November 3rd. You could barely Final tell there was a guy in a suit. It's Del November Lugun. 3rd? Yes. November 3rd what? There's a movie? Where's the translation tool? Translate to English? Boom. The fourth installment following last year's Fest Godzilla short film. Gigan attack. Okay, so it's a short film. Hey, yeah, man. the first trailer for Godzilla Fest for Operation Jet Jaguar has been released. The new short film will premiere during Godzilla Fest uh, in 2023 on November 3rd. Godzilla Fest. According to Kaiju News Outlet on Twitter. <laughs> Thanks, Kaiju News Outlet. So I guess at every Godzilla Fest they have one of these? Yeah, this looks like the same kind of thing. Shit, I'm more excited for the fests than I am <laughs> the actual movies. Is this the one? Okay, wow. You son of a bitch, you actually did it. You son of a bitch, you actually did it. They've been doing it for 50 years, and now <laughs> they're only getting to him. They're like, fine, we'll just... Yeah, I hope he wins. They're just now <laughs> getting to Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar. Love it. Oh, we can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cool. November 11th is the correct one. This is again, this is Detroit. Yes, we have seen. Yeah, but I'm talking about SSDs, people. We're not talking about other hard drives. And it's tiny. It's like a little RAM stick. After is it, is it oh, is it going to be available online? Because that was eleven three last year, and I don't see it nowhere. Um, it's called strings, wires, zero. <laughs> Godzilla vs. Hedorah. Godzilla vs. Gigan. Godzilla vs. <laughs> I gotta watch these later. Five minutes. 
Hmm. No, these ain't these ain't loading in in that that amount of time. They left this one up. Um, it's still not up. It says November third, so you'll see re our reaction to the trailer of it putting up November third. It's still not out. I don't know where it is. What's going on? Hopefully, it'll be it'll be up. Maybe they put up the wrong one because then they put up another one, which is Godzilla versus Meg Meglon. Uh, and that's a whole like battle unique. These is like like a fan film kind of thing. Like the community comes together and makes a professional quality Godzilla battle mini fan film. And so it's a really good time to be a Godzilla fan. So we're gonna show. We're gonna uh, put all uh, two of those here and, uh, and for you guys. And uh, yeah, let's react to Godzilla minus one, which is coming out in December. I think it's like December tenth, December first, one of those. De December first. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. That looks good. I don't know if that's CGI or a set, but that looks legit. So it's like, what the hell happened? So Correct. I think this is going to be like a classic return to Godzilla original story, like anti-war... Godzilla is a bad guy destroying Japan kind of thing. Ooh. Unknown or organism. That's CGI, of course. Damn! Run! There's the classic roar. Oh, it's a kind of little a, a period piece too, huh? Okay, be interesting. Looks fucking good. Interesting shots of Japanese Navy. Okay. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Obviously, this doesn't have the huge budgets that the American films have, so there is some CGI and some wackiness involved there. Powering up. I've never seen the <coughs> blades go up like mm. that. Interesting. Godzilla. Minus one. Oh, it comes in. Activated. <laughs> they're trying to act. They're trying to add stuff to to the Godzilla lore. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I, I think it looks good. Early access fan event. Um, clearly, this is for fans. Um, maybe it's like a reboot, just a, like a period piece. And honestly, if it's for fans, I would love it. I like. I know we're we're getting that with the Jet Jaguar one you're about to see, and the one they just released today, Meglon versus Godzilla, where you have the classic costumes. But I just want to see that in a in a major film. So this is coming out in Japan, and it's also coming out in 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 the U.S. I don't know if it's a limited release in the U.S. Probably on fewer screens than Marvel shit, but. Like, um, and it's obviously Japan. You have to read subtitles if you go to this. But I love Godzilla so great. much, and I th I'm excited for this. So I just wanted to share my love of Godzilla, uh, and I think the trailer looks good. What do you guys think? I think it looks good as long as it obviously does what it did back then and not focus on humans as it does now. Okay, well, yeah, you're gonna I, have that. I'm already going to stop you there because this is going to be human focus. If we're going back to the classic Godzilla, we're going back to, uh, you know, I don't know if they're rebooting or what they are implying by minus one. I know it's going to be a, a you know, it's going to have to do with the humans, it's going to have to do yeah, with the country, you, you have to. the devastation of the nuclear weapon. You have to realize a little bit of an anti-war message. This is all stuff with the classic Godzilla. Uh, you know, the bombs was dropped on Japan, Hiroshima. So it's going to have a lot of that. Yeah. It's not just going to be. Have you seen the, the you a you've obviously in seen fact, the In fact, I don't Shin. even think he fights a monster in this. I think it's like Godzilla versus Japan. Yeah. The Shin Godzilla one. You saw that yeah. one, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Leaning towards more to that. Okay. That was good. It was yeah. just them trying to stop Godzilla. He, Godzilla. Was you just want like, plenty of Godzilla. Yeah. In it this. was just evolving, trying to stop him and all right. that stuff. I don't care if he fights somebody else right now, but mm -hmm. uh, that kind of tone. 
that's yeah. what I'm looking forward to. Okay. So. I mean, for something that looks, you know, that quote unquote low budget, it looks really great. Um, you know, I'm, I don't. The budget is actually lo- lower than some fucking shit that you would find on X. It's only fifteen million dollar budget, yeah. so you you do they do have a constrained budget, almost like an indie budget. Yeah, I mean, but it it still looks great for something like that. Now, of course, we have to see what it looks like outside of the trailer. Sometimes they do extra touch ups on stuff like that. But I've you know I've never watched one of these movies and been like, man, uh, that bus that got thrown in the building looked really bad. My immersion is ruined. It's like it's as long as they're CGI, focusing, so I'm okay with uh, yeah, that. as long as they're <laughs> focusing on the right thing. Yes. And then we kind of get we want these are fan service movies, mm-hmm. and as long as they are servicing us as fans, mm-hmm. I think we're going to be be fine. That's I know what you're talking about with like Millie. If Millie, yeah, if there's a Millie Bobby a Brown character focus. that just mm-hmm. like that's what we focus on, like yeah. her relationship with her father. Fuck off, exactly, I don't care. Exactly. But you know, this looks like it has everything that I want from a yeah. Godzilla we got to protect the people, do all that stuff, but me. Yeah. Too. So uh, this is written by Yamaka- uh, Yamakazi was selected to make the Godzilla film. He took three years to uh, come with the script. He he was hot off a uh, uh, Great War of Archimedes, uh, which was. Uh, uh, successful in japan well written so uh, i think people are expecting it to be a well written uh, kind of godzilla adventure with characters that you don't necessarily you know hate or they're throwaway and you're just trying to see godzilla which is always the point but but yeah so this is set in 1945 at the end of world war ii um a kamikaze pilot feigns technical issues with his plane and lands on odo island and this is when godzilla appears and attacks the island and then uh, this w- upon his return to Tokyo, they've got to fucking deal with this thing coming, yes. and they can't stop it. And what the hell do you do? Oh, that looks so good! It's just, I just Chomp. can't wait for it. Chomper. So it's the classic kind of Godzilla look that I like. Uh, I, I think he's got a little bit of a belly on him, and what I've seen in another shot, I kind of like a more, you know, as washboard as. But look at me, I'm falling apart too, God. Don't worry about it. And it is CGI, you know. I want one of these days, if you're going to go with low budget, just fucking exactly. do a mixture of the suit and CGI. Just don't go full CGI. <laughs> full you <suit>. know? <laughs> and I'm not really sure why. this. Uh, kind of like to do with Jurassic Park. So I, I, don't, yeah. I don't mean like low but like super low budget dude in a suit, but like Jurassic Park, one of the reasons you can go back and watch the original is there were so many practical effects. They were building yes. some of these dinosaurs. Of course, that movie yeah. had an insane. Uh, insane Shiro Gumi handled the visual effects at their studio at their studio Chofu. So there is definitely a lot of visual effects in this particular one, and it looks like it's mostly Godzilla is a, a CGI, and I, I just enjoy um, the uh, suited versions of Godzilla because that brings me back to this classic look here. This is available now, and it is a mixture of the CGI and the suits, I believe. Well, actually, that looks all pretty much all CGI. But this is available to watch on the channel right now. And then you're going to get our uh, view on uh, a character coming uh, that we never thought we'd see <laughs> I again. I did not. Very excited to see that. I'm still waiting. Maybe later on today it'll be up on the channel. Hopefully they didn't fuck up and put the wrong thing up on the Godzilla channel, the Godzilla vs. Meglon. Because I think there were three fan films that go on at these Godzilla fests. So... We're excited. I'm going to check out Godzilla in December, do an angry review for it. For all you Godzilla fans, you all know I'm a big Godzilla fan, even though he does get the crappiest games approaching the gen. We'll see if he approaches the generator (laughs) in minus one. Uh, But, yeah. All right, guys. 